I'm Sean Duffy, uh, here with MedGadget at TedMed. Um, earlier this morning, we had a great TED Talk uh, by Mike Bargerber, who's part of uh, GE's Health Imagination Investment in Medical Innovation. So he's going to quickly talk uh, a little bit about the group. Um, we'll talk about one of their technologies that they described today, um, and then you know a little bit more about their uh, methodology of uh, how they think about healthcare innovation. Great. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Healthy Imagination is six, GE's six billion dollar commitment that we have in the health sector. We're going to deliver over 100 innovations between now and 2015, focused around delivering the innovations which can make sure you deliver better quality of care to patients, lower the cost of the overall system for that care, and then improve access. Because there's many parts of the world access to life-saving technologies is just not there. So we have that big focus on that to make that a reality. Uh, we have a number of different uh, areas that we're covering because fundamentally what we want to do is make sure for that individual patient the clinician can give them the right care at the right time at the right cost. Uh, one big part of that is having more portable products. Uh, you covered vScan before, it's one of the things in terms of portable ultrasound, we have portable EKG machines, and one of the things that we've discovered is we, in, even though those products may have been intended for a developing market, we can actually use them with new users back in the developed world. So having a portable EKG machine that can be in an, an ambulance is something that would be uh, useful uh, if somebody, an ambulance or paramedic was dealing with patients. So even though it was developed for a mobile remote application in India, uh, we can bring it back into the U.S. or developed market. We call that reverse innovation. Gotcha. So innovation in those ways. The talk I gave today was about a new uh, area that we're really focused on, we're very excited about. It's digital pathology and really understanding what does it mean to digitize the, the slides, the tissue, uh, and get that integrated into the medical record just like uh, other pieces of digital information. Yeah, and kind of as Mike said earlier, um, one of the things that really excited uh, me about the digital pathology talk is that it's really hard to digitalize slides. Um, it seems like an obvious idea and it would make processes in the pathology office a lot quicker and better and more accurate um, but it's no one's really tackled it yet um, because it's just such a technological challenge so we actually have the team that's working on that and they have an awesome you know system set up that's doing great great work in that area that Mike described uh, at TED today so we're just gonna maybe uh, briefly chat with the people who are behind it so this is uh, Gene Cartwright from the uh, digital pathology group. Hi uh, yeah let me just quickly describe what this field is so first of all who's the pathologist the pathologist is the doctor's doctor so patients don't see pathologists but pathologists are the one that make the diagnosis so they've been living in a world of, of uh, glass and paper a very manual world for the last over 100 years and it, although digitizing these images is a very simple idea, it's been technically extremely difficult to do. So if you took a half an inch piece of tissue that's on, very, very uh, thin on a glass slide, what we do is uh, focus on that tissue about 3,000 times and produce about a 10,000 to 15,000 megabyte image every one minute. And then we compress it and then stream it around your local network. So uh, the, the technology involved to do that was extremely challenging and essentially that's why it hasn't been done until now. But uh, fortunately, one of the key benefits that comes from it is that you can send the right image to the right subspecialist, and as a result, you get uh, higher quality, more accurate diagnoses. Can you talk about kind of some of the pilots uh, you're running with the device? Yeah, we have pilots right now at uh, Toronto General, Stanford, Montefiore Medical Center, and University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And so we're in the last uh, you know, couple of months of doing that work, and then we'll be launching the product uh, early next year, and we're also in the process of uh, getting FDA approval for the product. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I think is really kind of neat um, about the, the field, and Mike touched on this earlier, is the fact that you can kind of take these digital images and, and kind of view them in aggregate and you know, make them part of the EMR. Right. Um, just because you talked to kind of there's a secondary benefit of actually kind of looking at these things as a yeah, there are, way. Yeah, there are a couple of benefits. First of all, uh, Every patient wants to see their, their piece of tissue. Uh, the clinician wants to see the piece of tissue, and typically they don't today, so it'll make it a yeah. lot easier for them to see it. And then in the future, uh, and Mike touched on this in his talk, that there are just an infinite amount of computer-assisted diagnostics that can be done um, with once you have the image dig digitized, and that clearly is the, is the longer-term future for this work. Great, well, thank you so much. Right. Uh, really cool technology. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.